Hey there YouTube, it's JP Dunphy, your BMW genius here at West German BMW. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over how to use your automated parking as well as your backup assistant. So with that, let's get started. So let's say we're driving, uh, hey look, there's my heads up display. We're driving along, come to your neighborhood, it's a good day, oh it's so beautiful out, look at that. Driving down, you have a long driveway, short driveway, whatever it is, but oh, there's Jimmy's bike. We gotta go around that. Okay, great job. And, ooh, all right, go around the wife's car, come back in, and now we're in our driveway. Great day, we're in the parking spots, we get parked. So now the things in park, come out, and you go, well, that was great. Oh, holy cannoli, it snowed. I don't remember where half the Zephswas are. Well, they may be buried on snow or, I don't know, I can't really see out the back. All right, how do I get out of here? Let's stick her in reverse and select backup assistant. So what that will do is it'll automatically remember the last 164 feet you took before you hit park. So with that, my hands are here and obviously my other one's holding the, the phone. But watch this, uh, it is doing it on its own. And it's taking me all the way back. I'm just controlling this with the brake and accelerator, so anyway, I'm not going too fast. And there we go, it's going back around. Oh, this is where we went around Jimmy's bike. You know, it's, oh, look at that, it's just doing its thing. No big deal. Let's go back. Oh, that was the dodging Jimmy's bike moment. And we're close to the cars here. And then we're gonna go right back to where I started all the way out here. Boom, close enough. So if you go, all, actually let's go all the way to the end just so you can see what that looks like. This will take us all the way. And now that's the end of the route, it says take over. So that's the backup assistant. Now alternatively, your automated parking, let's make sure that is on, will be in drive. What that will do is use those sensors on the side and front of the car to basically read these cars. So as long as you are within five feet of whichever side you're trying to park on, this will work. So let's go popping this guy on. There's on May parking. It's searching, it's searching. There's a spot to my left right now. There's another car right there. Oh, come to a stop. See how the P is facing that way? That means that this is a perpendicular parking spot. If it was a parallel parking spot, the P would be vertical. And if it was on the other side, that's what that would mean. All we have to do is give this guy a press. That automatically puts on the turn signal. And as you see, to start, take your hands off the steering wheel and release the brake. So with that, I'm going to take my foot off the brake and this is going to do everything on its own. So it's gonna start by coming in here. It usually does a three point turn using everything it sees in the front and back. It is turning the wheel on its own, by the way and putting itself into drive. So watch, as it comes down to the front, it's gonna put itself back in reverse and now start to reverse here. Using the sensors on both sides, it'll even out between both cars so that we have an even space on both sides. It's gonna continue doing, it's readjusting, seeing where we're at, saying that's not good enough. Readjust one last time. It just put itself back in reverse. So at this point, it's going back in. I still haven't touched the brake. My foot's down here. I don't know if you can see it. It's nowhere near the accelerator. But anyway, it's going to say, all right, we're about even between them all. Park. Vehicle secured. Congratulations. You just learned how to use your automated parking and backup assistant. Now, again, you want to activate your park distance control before you get to the spots. So that way, in my... Um, in my testing and all that, it always seems to work the absolute best when you have at least one car, no car, followed by another car. So that way the system can see there's a car, there's an empty spot. Hey, there's another car. That must be a parking spot. Therefore, it suggests it. That works the exact same way for both parallel as well as perpendicular spots like the one we're in right now. Um, and uh, the only other difference is uh, for the parallel spots, when you get back in, have all may parking on, you will get a little tiny arrow that will give you the option to get you ready to pull out of that parallel parking spot. That just basically sets up the car, so all you have to do is accelerate and take over steering after you're out of the spot. 
Uh, I will do my best to see if I can recreate that little situation. So if I can do that, I will add that onto the end of this. Otherwise, I'll make a separate video of it. And uh, here we go. Good news. I was able to uh, basically manufacture a parallel parking spot. So got it all set up. So we got a car over here and a car all the way back there. You can't see it because the window. Sorry about that. But you'll see right here, you give the two options. So when you give a press, you'll sit there and say, oh, I want the parallel parking spot. So as you see, now it's going to do the exact same thing. Seatbelts on, hands off. And all we gotta do is keep an eye on what's happening beside us. There it goes, it's coming in right and nice and close and put there. Sees the car behind us and it's like, ah, yes. Let's turn him back, getting you ready. It's gonna back us back up to kind of even us out between the two cars. Ta-da! Parallel parking spot. Who don't love that? All right, so now, say you're in park. Now when you press that button right there, see that's that little arrow I was telling you about. All you have to do is press the brake, press that, and what's going to do is deactivate the park brake, and you take your hands off the steering wheel. It's going to back you up, get you all ready to get out of this parking spot. So it's going to measure in front, say that's not going to clear. I'm going to readjust one more time. Oh, and there you go. It actually saw itself that I was too close, so it actually disengaged altogether. So what we're going to do is back it up a little more. That's also why I suggest to always use that. Hands off. Observeness. And of course I just backed up far enough that it's going to say, hey, you can get out. So you see how that sweep on the right hand side? See now it says complete takeover, which means that at this point all I have to do is press the accelerator and take over driving to get out of the spot. So yes, um, also that moving forward part, since it was a little dense, we were slightly off road. That was probably part of the problem for that initial uh, pull out section there. But that is one of the reasons why it highly suggested earlier in the video, always, always have emergency braking with park distance control on if you have that option, because it will brake itself automatically. And with that, Thanks so much for being with us. Great to have you. Uh, if you like this video, like, share, um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, because uh, the more people we have doing that, the more fun it's gonna be. So with that, thanks so much for being with us. Have a great rest of your day. Any more questions, leave them in the comments below. Keep on motoring. Bye-bye.